Getting ready to go live here. We're going to have a slight pregame show, about a six or seven minute pregame show. And we just got our live signal, so let me see if I can pull it up here on the iPad and make sure that everything is the way it needs to be. I always verify everything, folks, on these live streams because you never know. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. And this is the pregame show. And I'm wearing a country club shirt, Congressional Country Club, because we're going to talk about a watch that would be definitely appropriate to wear to the country club. We're going to talk about a couple of watches that are pretty cool today on the show. And we're going to have a special guest coming in from the Stevester. The Stevester is going to be coming in to visit with us. So bear with me while I get a couple of things organized here. And... Uh, We'll move on with the pre-show, the pre-game show. And I do want to thank those of you that did go and like Brianna's Facebook page. She's all set up there. And now we're going to ask you guys to go Hi, and, I'm oh, Craig there's Schiff, that and playing. You're probably hearing channel. that playing. Here let me stop that. Well, let me go to history here. You'll I find the rare and hard. Give me a second here. Give me a second because there's a watch I wanted to show you guys uh, that uh, popped up in my stream here. Let me launch this video. Box reviews. I would really appreciate this it. This is the Timster. And sometimes he shows some really cool watches, okay? And this is this is this one is pretty cool. So let me try to up the quality on this. I don't know why it's 30, 360p. Let me make it uh, 480p at least. And let's play a little bit of this. And I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it and you can purchase nice it on trim. our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing the Shigeru like Bracelet Master Moon, a watch that debuted in the 1990s and was produced right up until about 2005. It's a watch that fits perfectly okay, on any that. wrist. What do you all think about that? Sometimes Tim shows some good ones. What do you all think about that? I kind of like a. A dress watch with a bracelet. I'm not a big fan of the leather straps. I know they look great and a lot of people love them, but I kind of like a bracelet. And that one's on a bracelet and it looks nice and trim. Looks like a great size for a dress watch. Let me know what you say, what you think. Ready to solve all first world problems? Absolutely, we're going to do that today. Absolutely. So, Brianna. <clears throat> If you can go to, and I'll put the link in the chat. Well, I'll wait in, until there's more people here, and I'll put it in the chat. But um, BreeFitDance.com, B-R-I-F-I-T Dance.com, BreeFitDance.com, is pointed to her YouTube channel now so that you guys can, um, can like that. I mean, not like that. Subscribe to that. That would be helpful. And let me, real quick, I'll play the video, the jump video, just in case some of you guys didn't see it. And by the way, here's, here's the lovely Brianna with her mom. Her mom is also a knockout. And so there you go. And uh, let me try to pull up this video. I think I still have it on here. The jump video. The Brianna. Oh, shoot, I just opened up the wrong program. Just give me a second here. You double-click, and it opens up Armadeus Pro instead of instead of uh, QuickTime Player for some reason. Good. No, who knows why that would happen. But here we go. We're going to play the jump video. What do you all think? We're going to play the jump video. Please help my friend Brianna out. So that's out the URL you go to. following her. You can go, go to, to briefitdance.com, briefitdance and that's and actually now pointed, it's pointed right now to her Facebook to her YouTube page. YouTube like channel. her on Facebook. Also, please follow her on Twitter and Instagram. And she's at briefitdance on everything. Briefitdance, at briefitdance, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Thank you for she's watching. She's doing a pretty good job jumping up on that box, I shall say. I shall say that's how that works. All right. All um, right. Craig, I'm addicted to watching that girl jump up and down. Wait until you see, wait until we get together and shoot some videos, which is going to happen soon. You're going to be seeing a lot of really cool content from Brianna. So you definitely want to subscribe to her YouTube channel, BreeFitDance.com, and uh, her Instagram and everything. You are going to see a star. She is a star in the making. You're in on the ground floor on this one, folks, the ground floor. And Jaden, I like 
I like the jumping. Yes, we're going to have a lot of jumping, a lot of fun stuff going on. And that's that's what we do here on this channel. A lot of fun stuff. And let me just refresh this chat to make sure that everything is copacetic because we're two minutes to to uh, launch time. You're in on the ground. Okay, and um, we've got uh, we got a lot of jump jumping fans. All right, that's good. Make sure you subscribe to her channel, folks. Go to Bree. All you have to do is go to Bree B R I Fit Dance dot com, and it's pointed right to her YouTube channel as of now. So. You'll be able to go there and subscribe to that. We've already got the likes we need on the Facebook page to get that squared away. And uh, we're going to build up her following on the YouTube channel. We need to get it up to 100 subscribers so that she can get a custom URL on YouTube. I think they require 100 subscribers, so we've got a little ways to go on that one. Um, let me see what else. Oh, let me pull up Skype because the Stevester is going to be calling in. And I want to make sure that Skype is ready, ready, willing, and able to take his call. So, and again, for those of you that came in late, this is a watch that uh, this was released, I think, today or yesterday by it's, Tim. It's 37 Look millimeters that in stainless steel with a triple calendar and a moon face is a recipe That's for cool. timeless appeal. The watch as featured is in a rare configuration on the factory JLC stainless So definitely take a look at his video on that one. I don't know how much he's asking for it, but um, that is a cool, 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 a cool dress watch, if I do say so myself. So let me get this Skype window as full screen as I can get it and still have access to well oh he, speaking of the devil, he's calling in let's answer this call let's answer the call from the Stevester and he's got to turn on his video <clears throat> so that we can see him right now I'm seeing myself I'm not seeing the Stevester uh, let me get that. Greg, can you hear me? There. I'm not Sorry. hearing you. Oops, hold on a second. I'm putting the headset on. Can you hear me, Steve? Hello. Okay, I, I'm the feed you're giving me right now is myself. I'm seeing my my myself on the feed. So I don't know why that is. Can you hear me okay? Steve? Testing. Hmm. So he's playing around with his settings. We had this working the other day. Steve, I could hear you okay. Can you say something? Testing one, two. Live television. Hello. I hear you, Steve. Can you hear me? Testing. I can, One, two, three. Yes. Craig, I, are you hearing me? Yes, I'm hearing you. Can you hear me? Yes. Testing. One, two. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Oh, well. He's got, he's got, he's showing me his screen. That's the problem. He's sharing his screen. I'll show you what he's showing me. He's sharing his screen now. And for some reason, he can't hear me. I can hear him. Let me try to call him on the phone so I can tell him what's going on. It's never a dull moment here with live television. Hey, Craig. Okay, so I can hear you. You can't hear me? No, I can't. Okay, so I can hear you, but I'm looking at your screen. You're sharing your screen right now is what right. I'm seeing on the broadcast. Can You, you are seeing my... Uh, your, your desktop. I'm right. Now I'm seeing a watch, a ball watch. Okay. okay. I'm going to cut to that so they so, can see that. But everybody can hear me. Is that right? Yes, they can hear you. So, so I guess it doesn't matter that you can't hear me. 
Uh, well, a little bit. Um, I might just stay on the phone here and do our thing. Uh, not sure why I'm not getting the uh, signal back from you. Okay. So, All right. So I'll leave you on the speaker phone, and I'll just turn the volume down on my phone so that I don't hear you. Also, you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, great. And you can so, hear me. Uh, Go ahead. Okay. So, and I'm live, I guess. And hi, yes. everybody. And the ball watches on the screen. Looks beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I thought I'd uh, have some fun showing this uh, piece. This is. Uh, no longer in the current lineup for Ball. We just took this in as a pre-owned. And uh, this is one of their coolest models they've had. It's called the Moon Glow. And uh, it has uh, great loom. And uh, even wow. the, uh, yeah, the uh, characters at 12, 3, 6, and then the date at 9 are backlit with uh, tritium tubes. It's a unique piece. It's a... Uh, uh, nothing like it in uh, the collection and mm -hmm. uh, hardly anything like it anywhere. So I thought it'd be fun to uh, give a little uh, prelude with that And one. this was a pre-owned uh, piece? Yeah, we just took it back in. And okay. uh, yeah, very nice. What year so, is it? Uh, boy, they must have discontinued this uh, probably eight years ago or so. Wow. Uh, in the day, we sold a bunch of them. Uh, it was one of my favorite pieces. It just shows the uh, idiosyncrasy that uh, uh, Ball is capable of. Uh, it looks pretty they, sharp. How thick is the watch? I knew you were going to ask that, so you're going to have me measuring away. Okay, Well, I got just, you. I mean, roughly, is it what you consider relatively trim on the wrist? Can you show us a it's side not view? Gonna be, it's not going to be roughly. It's going to be Okay. 12.4. Uh, not bad. Okay, so it's probably more like 12 because you're measuring thingamajigs are always off yeah. a little bit. So it's probably more like 12, which is perfect for a dress watch. That's, yeah. that's great. And it, Yeah, and this is an aftermarket uh, strap we put on it. The, and it is a deployant, uh, right? Looks the original like wasn't uh, particularly wearable. So uh, that's uh, one piece I want to show you. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's okay, see. Okay, we got well, a comment. Somebody likes it. Maybe we can well, do a deal right here and now. Okay. Uh, and do a live we're deal. We're asking, asking fourteen ninety nine, uh, and the strap that's on there is uh, uh, a new strap fifty nine ninety five. Wait, you fourteen like ninety nine. You're talking fourteen hundred dollars. Yes, of course. Wow, that's a deal. Yeah, yeah this was in the twos uh, in the day, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, lovely piece. All right, there you go, folks. So, you can email me at steve at littletreasury.com if you want to catch up with me. Steve at littletreasury.com. We'll do a deal right here and now. Okay. Let me uh, let's throw up another piece we just took in. All right. And uh, you're, you're a man in motion. Wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing, Steve-ster. So does anyone know what this is? Cut to it. We're seeing you still. Oh, yeah. Well, not my face. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. So, Brightling. It's a Brightling uh, Mont Brilliant Spatiographic. Mm -hmm. S P A T I O graphic. And is that and, a uh, used piece that you got into? It is, yeah. I just uh, how got old, that. How old the, is that one? Do you have an idea? Uh, I don't. I don't have the box or papers for this, but it's uh, in uh, nice condition. I'm sure it's uh, probably 15 years old plus. Mm -hmm. uh, but in great shape, and uh, that's a 10-minute countdown timer you see moving uh, at uh, 9 o'clock in that square box. Okay. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, so it says 3.5 there, and it's going to 4. Is that what right. you're talking about? Right. But that's yep. minutes. That's the minutes. Yes, count, counting down. Okay. So... Let's move on, and I guess this is what you all came for. Well, there you go, and, and uh, by the way, Steve is, is uh, coming in via Skype, and he looks pretty crystal clear, and he looks very dapper. I like that suit. Is that a suit or a sport coat? It's a sport jacket. Sport jacket. There, I like it. Yeah. You're pushing yeah, the I tried envelope. To tap. You're pushing the envelope a little bit with that the pattern shirt and the tie and all. It looks good, though. I know. We, that's what we do here at Little Treasury. We push those envelopes. That's right. 
That's like crazy. So, all right, here's the uh, the big show. Oh, look at that. And and somebody had the nerve the other day to say that the Stevester didn't actually have the watch in stock. And here he is live on television, folks, showing us the watch. Now, what I want you to do is on the count of three, I want you to jiggle it just a little bit, okay? I'm, uh, I'm having somebody in some remote location. Well, wait, no, only on, when I hit three, okay, one, two, uh. three. I see you didn't jiggle it, so you must not have it. <laughs> I just jiggled. <laughs> I know. All right, so there you go, folks. We've got yeah. it live here on television. That's the Rolex Oyster Perpetual Date GMT Master II, commonly referred to as the Pepsi. Virtually impossible to get, but you can buy it now. Now, I'm not going to promise you that this is going to be in stock an hour from now. I'm just telling you it's in stock now. Okay, so... Look at that loom. Look at that loom. And you talk about an all-arounder. You talk about a watch that you can wear in any circumstance. It's a 40 mil watch. So if you have a decent size wrist, let's say you have a wrist 7 inches or bigger, it's only about 12 mils thick, maybe about 11.7 or 12, somewhere in there. We'll have him measure it with his device and see what he gets to compare to the other one. Okay. And yeah, so, so you're looking at a, a watch that with a very comfortable Jubilee bracelet that has some micro adjustments. So you can definitely wear this in any circumstance. This could be an all-arounder, do everything, watch for you. And uh, let's see, um, who makes the nicest leather co cognat, cognat strap i can't pronounce that for some reason this moment co 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 cognac. Cognac. cognac 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 yeah. strap and yeah cognac strap and 18 mils who makes the nicest one you got a question in the chat boy i don't know um you have some nice ones there though well i do and uh if you come to my watch event which we'll talk about later i'm going to have a custom strap maker there okay um who can uh make it any kind of leather you want and yep. uh makes beautiful handmade uh bespoke straps and so uh, there you go folks the wind it, it probably makes the nicest one you now what get. are the dates of the watch event uh 18th and 19th of october we're going to have a little segment on that uh coming up in a, a minute 18th so. and 19th of october there you go okay so let's get a uh, a measurement on this uh on the thickness of this okay Oh, let me see the clasp, too, while you're there. Let's see. Yeah, just let me, uh, one thing at a time, my friend. Okay, okay I have 12.1 on my... Okay, so it, I, I've heard 12, that... 12, 12. Yeah, I 12. think it's 12 or a little under, yeah. Okay, so, and there's the clasp. Move it away yeah. a little bit. It's a little bit out of focus. Okay. And this watch is super clean, mm -hmm. and uh, I think... Uh, you might have mentioned on your last show um, this was uh, purchased uh, from a dealer uh, three months ago new okay so you bought it from the gentleman who got it from the ad and he's Correct. got all the paperwork and everything was it a local Every purchase local purchase yes in maryland okay yes well there you go folks we know the full pedigree of this watch it's there so those of you who have been you know talking saying that you want a pepsi you're taught you've been talking the talk now you can walk the walk there it is i'm not going to discuss uh price no, on our pieces not. here uh but uh i will tell you that if you go to uh ebay or any of the local haunt haunts other haunts that mm -hmm. you look at mm -hmm. uh this is going to be priced uh, below any comparable uh, Pepsi. Uh, with, uh, so you are, you, you're always competitive. You're all, you always give a, a good price to the subscribers here on the channel. You've always done that. And that's why we don't talk about the price because, you know, it, it's a special price for subscribers and you've got to contact Steve direct and convince him that you're a subscriber. You know, if he doesn't believe that you're the real deal, you know, he might not give you the deal. So that's how you got to be the real deal to get the deal. That's how that works. So there you go, folks. You're getting a close look at that, and somebody says, well, the colors don't look quite right on that. It's just lighting issues and so forth if the colors aren't exactly what you think they should be. 
this is live television, and the, the white balance is not always going to be exactly 100%, folks. So, But it, it's the real deal, full papers, box papers, the whole nine yards, and you're looking at it live on television. So those of you that said the other day when we did the broadcast, oh, I don't think he really has the watch, you know, it's just clickbait. They said it was clickbait. Steve <laughs> clickbait <laughs> yep. well here's the bait right here this is the real bait okay mm -hmm. <laughs> nice and shiny ready for you all to, to pounce on it so that's how that works that is that is some bait right there too I'll tell you all right what else do you have to show us okay I got a little surprise okay and I'm trying to catch up on uh, where we are in the comments mm -hmm. and, well, here's uh, the bait right and so folks just in case you didn't you didn't think Steve had something else up his sleeve. He's going to come out with a surprise here in a moment. Hey, Craig, I got to uh, ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, let me get on here. Um, someone came in today and uh, told me that you uh, sort of spilled the beans about uh, something that's coming up. Well, I, I hinted. Yeah, hey. I, I, I hinted that there was some something... Uh, uh, a, a trip in order, uh, VIPs yeah. only, but I didn't give any details. Uh, uh, and uh, boy. so, yeah. I, I, I don't know, Craig. And Loose I, lips. And I, well, ships, I did say, say that. At the time that I mentioned it, I did you say might get that. A recall. I, I did you say might get that, a recall. that. Exactly. I did say that the invitation might you're, be. Uh, you're revoked. in danger. But actually, to, danger. to tell you the to tell you the truth, they really should never have invited me in the first place because I, I think that, that that's going to turn out to be a real mistake letting me in there because um you know i i'm going to bring back to the channel the real deal the real report and sometimes they may or may not want the real report out there oh, but come on craig that's try to play the bad boy that's how we work that's and that's yeah, what I our know, channel our channel here de demands uh, hey Thomas, Thomas is in from England. Yeah. How's it going over there? All is right. it past your bedtime? So here, Kyle says I can attest to getting a great price from Steve. I was given a great deal from Steve on my two three one. Is it on your wrist, Kyle? Are you wearing it now? Maybe you should Skype in and show it to us. Let us know if you can Skype in and show us that two three one. I've got a two three one on wrist right now. Absolutely. It's been beat around. It's it's gone through heavy use for over a year, and it still looks gorgeous. Any steel watch I would have had in the past would have been beat to death by now, and and this one still looks pretty much like new. Only the clasp is scratched, and that's the stainless steel part. The rest of it looks gorgeous. So the titanium is holding up. Thomas says, right. "Evening, Steve." Uh, yeah. and, and says yeah. hello. said, yeah, hi, Thomas. And he says hello Thanks to... Thanks for staying up late for us. I know you're uh, in England. Yeah. yeah, and he says hello And Blue Shirt everyone. Buddha, hey, how are you doing? Hey, Dadiv, Dativ, he says. So, okay, let's let's cut to the chase and, here. And by the way, let us know in the chat if you're coming to Steve's event. Let us know. Give us Start giving us some yeah. heads up in the chat. Go ahead. What do you, what do you have, Steve? Okay, so... Uh, da -da, scoop... Oh boy, look at that. Wow. Talk about what stunning. What is that? And look at the gold. The GS is in gold. Depending on the angle you turn it at, it first looked gold. Right there. Right there. Perfect. Oh, no, no. Turn it back just a hair. It was, oh, come it on. was the gold was showing up. Yeah, right there. No, no, no. Back to hair. Okay. There. Uh, Whoa. Okay. Make it, Can't you see it? You're Can't tiring it? me out, Craig. Can't you you're see the gold on your monitor? I see it. There, right there. That's perfect. Leave it right like that. Do you know that. what this is? I have Craig? no idea what that is. I just like okay. it. Okay. Well, it's winter. It's the first of the season. So you've got one in stock. I wouldn't say one, Craig. Is it actually for sale? Uh, it's sold. Oh, darn it. To one of your guys. Okay. Yeah, but probably we, listening. We might need another guy. Might Another guy might need one, though. What do we do then? Huh? What do we do well, if somebody else wants one? Well, it's not just this, Craig, but this is the uh, SBGA 415, okay. the winter okay. of the uh, Four Seasons uh, Quartet coming up. And that this is, is titanium. Stunning. Oh, my gosh. That is stunning. You, 
Are you getting the texture of this dial? Yeah, 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 yeah but leave that gold. Leave, leave it so we can see oh, the gold. Oh, no, no, I want to show you the. Look at this uh, box crystal. Oh, yeah. Oh, no joke. And you know what? I like that case. When I first saw the cases, that that case design, I was kind of like so-so on it. I kind of like the case on the on the uh, snowflake better. But I, that mm -hmm. this one has definitely grown on me, and I have no issues at this point with this uh, case design, I, given the overall look of the watch. Now, how okay. thick is this one? Do you know? Oh, uh, Craig, you make me do too much work here. It's all on my website. And when is this one going to be? When is it going to be shipped? You can when is this one order be one? Shipped? When I have thirteen point six, you know, it's plus or minus two it's, or three. Yeah, it's less than that. I, I think your measuring thing is always yeah, over. but it's uh, it's unfair to for me to quote things with this little thing on the fly. Yeah, yeah. So it, anyway, pretty nice. It's got this great textured dial. It's the winter SBGA four fifteen. And uh, I might be sold out momentarily of the number of pieces I got in on this one. Um, so my friend in West Texas got the first. So uh, congratulations, friend. And uh, Now, that's this unit right here? Uh, no, he'll, he'll get a different piece. Okay. I got more than one. Okay. Um, yep. And so who, who is this particular piece going to? Uh, this is going in the case okay. momentarily. They're, okay. I, I'm pretty well sold out on this piece. If this is not a limited edition. I will mm -hmm. be getting more, but we expect them to be tight. Okay. So it's going to be limited production. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's that. So one. you're definitely going to have, well, they're going to have them, the Grand Seiko people are going to have them at your party anyway, even if you're sold out at that point. Well, I wouldn't talk about that that way. At your party, Mister? Oh, my party? Yeah. Uh, you said you were gonna yeah, make sure that unless that the rep has them, right? I uh, I don't think so. I think it'll be what we have here. Uh -oh. and, well, then you you better hold back then, so you have them to show at the party. Well, we'll take care of everybody. Don't worry. All right. Not worry. You have become a worry warden. Well, you you so. just said they're in short supply, and you know, with us talking about it here on the, on the television, you can bet they're going to be in short supply. Now, there's another stunner. Look at that. But you're you're not getting the full juice on this one. Ah, uh, looks this pretty is, juicy to me. I like uh, that. This is gold. This is a green dial. Okay. Yeah, and that's like just, that's like my 005 looks black and a lot of lighting, and it's really uh, dark blue. This is blue. a very rich dial. Yeah. Uh, rich green of representing uh, the lush greenery in Japan, the mountain area where these are made. But I really and, like the gold. I like the gold. Uh, now, is this a limited production also? It's part of the series. Okay. Of the so you, wow. So you've got two of them. I do. And this is the SBGH 271. H meaning high beat. Now, somebody and said, is the dial made from titanium, Steve? H has the frosted texture to it. I guess they were talking about the previous watch. Uh, I doubt if it's titanium. It may be. I, we have to find out. Okay. Okay. Um, they don't exactly uh, lay out their material scheme uh, to us or to anybody, but I'm sure yeah. uh, our guru friend Joe Kirk uh, knows this, and I'll ask. I doubt it. Yeah. I think it's a uh, base metal uh, uh, coated with uh, different materials after mm -hmm. being yeah. stamped. So, okay, like um, snowflake. Thomas says it looks matte black. It does, but it's dark green uh, i'm going to try to move things around and show you this lush green i'm really sorry it's not coming through oh it does bit. when you tilt it a little bit now are you using manual white balance on your camera or are you how are you handling the white balance um it's automatic yeah so you might want to experiment with that and find out what your do a manual white well, i'm balance. not going to do it on, on the fly no, here yeah but, not uh, not now but when I'm you just... all come in for the show i'm sure we'll have one here yeah so this is summer and it's uh, high beat. It's steel. The okay. winter is titanium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I okay. like the titanium personally. And if you your eyes are sharp, 
uh, you'll notice one little uh, design uh, characteristic on this that is not on the titanium, and that is this uh, surface on the uh, case is polished. The, it was the matte top, the top on, surface, yeah. Yeah, was, and matte on a titanium. So this is polished and polished. And then matte. And then uh, the side is uh, uh, matte or yeah. brushed. And I, on I, the I, titanium. I, yeah, I would take the titanium one personally. It would be the way I would go. But they're both stunning. But Yeah, so that is uh, summer. I'm just a so, big fan of your titanium. It's tough stuff and, and super comfortable on wrist. So, so, moving along in our little show. Oh, you got more. And there's more, folks. This is like a Genzu knife commercial. This is, what season is this, Craig? Uh, fall. Good. This is the uh, blue, dark blue night in the cold uh, fall weather up in the mountains. Well, folks, look and at this. You're seeing, you've seen three so far of the four. This live on television right now, folks. This is an automatic high beat. This is probably a beat. scoop. Automatic this high beat. Now, listen. The first one you showed was the spring drive, and these yes. last two have been automatic high beats. Yes. Okay. Would you mind and throwing your caliper on this one to tell me the thickness? Uh, we just it's did probably, it. Last it's time. probably thinner. No, we didn't do the automatic. We did a titanium one. Uh, Thirteen point three. So it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, and I think your calipers are off. I think these are thirteen or thirteen point one. Thank you, Craig. Thank you for the compliment yeah, about yeah. my equipment. Well, you know, and, it's nothing. And it's nothing personal. <laughs> no, no, it just, I it, know. It just is what it is, you know. I'm, I'm sorry a, about that event. You're, you're the, probably not going to be attending. The, the, I know this is a rough channel. It really is. That, yeah. That's why we don't have very many guests. Have you ever noticed we have guests yeah. come in and right. then we never see them again? <laughs> right. All right, so um, this SPGH273, Autumn. Okay, yeah, it's stunning. All right. Now, it's steel, yeah. too, though, right? It is. Okay, yeah. So. so, so far, one has been titanium, the first unit, and the next two have been steel, and they're automatic, and the first one was a spring drive, folks, That for those that are keeping score. Okay. And Steve has three of them in stock right now that we've seen with our own eyes live. And three is not enough? Look at this. Wow. This is spring. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Now that one is steel or titanium? Well, looks it's titanium. titanium. Oh, Spring man. drive. Oh, that's and stunning. Now see the matte part of that... Uh, Yes, on the top, top of the yeah, case. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I, that I, I, I that's like about that. the only discernible difference that I can uh, make between those two, uh, the high beat and. Uh, now, when you the, when uh, you look at them, there you've got them pretty much side by side. There, when you look at them, does the titanium look more gray to you? D d d is there a visual difference between the stainless and the titanium? I'll tell you, the to polished surfaces, no. The matte, only if you hold them next to each other against the steel mm -hmm. tiny bit grayer but if they were held in isolation you'd be hard pressed to uh yeah identify it if you didn't that, have them in your hand that's how gorgeous that titanium is i mean it really is yeah. it's not your typical titanium alloy this is a special alloy that grand seiko uses that's hard tough as nails yeah. and super comfortable on wrist and super comfortable in all temperature situations because mm -hmm. of the thermal properties of it that's one of the things that makes these so comfortable on wrist year round so that's so, a stunner this watch comes off as pink in some lights mm -hmm. okay yeah i see a little bit of pink there in the in the um, yeah yeah it's uh in the gauge in the in the uh gauge yeah. it shows the the amount of charge it's um, uh in your parlance a stunner for sure yeah, and it looks like it looks like the second hand's moving. It looks like it's running, but it's pretty much depleted. 
Yeah, it's just uh, moving see. because you've been moving it around some. I well, I can give it a little wind, get it going. So, folks, what do you think about that? Put a um, put some comments. And Carlos says, "Looks like mother of pearl." And uh, Steve's got it wound up now, and there it goes. Look at that second hand moving. That nice smooth sweep. Can you hit your focus just a little bit? It's a little. The focus is just a hair off. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Look at Car that. Carlos, the the sense of that when you see it isn't really mother of pearl. It really looks like it's uh, its own thing. So it doesn't have uh, that mother of pearl sheen. Um, and in no way does it look cheesy or uh, that, second rate. That absolutely looks stunning. Now, what are these uh, 39 or 40 mil, the, the case? Well, let's measure them up. I think they're 40. Yeah, I, I think that's about right. I, I, you don't need to measure it because you're... you're plastic measuring thingy my jigs on. they're 40 they're 40 great okay. yeah that's about right so it's a hair smaller than the snowflake is 41 uh that, right. that's just a perfect all-arounder <clears throat> nice nice solid all-around watch for somebody that wants a heavy use watch screw down crown the whole nine yards the uh the spring drive is known for being extremely robust because it doesn't have an escapement mechanism which is you know, the weak point in a lot of mechanical watches. This doesn't even have that. So it's extremely robust. And, um, yeah, it'll go for decades without being serviced. Of course, the Grand Seiko people don't want to tell you that. They want you to take it in and have it serviced. But I'm telling you it'll run for decades without being touched. Because I've talked to people that have these watches that are 15 years old that have never had them touched, and they're running just like brand new. So that's how good these are, folks. You're seeing it live on television right now. Steve has it in stock. Steve at LittleTreasury.com. Steve at LittleTreasury.com. And you can go to our website. And every page, we have a place you can text us if you have mm -hmm. a question. I, I get those messages directly So if you, don't want to, Wags, if you don't want to talk to me. Our Wags is in the house. Um, in the house, but just listening as I'm traveling down the road as an attendee of one of Steve's Little Treasury events, I would highly recommend you attend the party all done first class. Well, there you go. Well, on Friday, that's a Friday and Saturday. On Friday, I'm planning on being there. I'm not 100% sure about Saturday. Uh, it depends on the weather and some other variables. There's another event that I might go to down in Rockville, but... Um, Friday I'm going to be there I uh, hope you can I hope you can make it again our wags I, I I didn't get a chance to spend as much time with some of the wrench gang last time because we were having some technical difficulties with the stream and with the audio and some things going on and hopefully Steve us we'll, technical difficulties ho hopefully we'll have all that worked out this time and we you know we can just enjoy the party and be live streaming and just pushing buttons to switch camera angles and we won't be troubleshooting anything so hopefully th that will go smoothly and I can spend a little bit more time with the members of the wrench gang that come uh, but yeah try to come it's always going to be a, a really really fun event uh, yeah, this year uh, we're also going to have a special guest Barbara Palumbo who is uh, a uh, watch writer blogger uh, and uh, general watch gadabout. She uh, goes to all the unveilings and openings all over the place, and she's an absolute live wire. I think you'll uh, all enjoy her if you come, and she's going to help now, us. Uh, how many brands are going to be represented at the event on Friday? Well, we have 23. Well, I don't have a count on Friday. Um, there will be a couple of brands that are there just Friday, and a couple just Saturday, but for the most part... It's uh, going to be pretty close on either day as far as the number. Yeah, and uh, in discussing with the brands what's going on, uh, if they can do it, they're opting for both days. So most of them okay. will be here both days. And Good. we'll publish a list on the website of uh, uh, exactly what's going on. And uh, some of the highlights will be 
Fresh Shucked Oysters from the Oyster Recovery Partnership, mm -hmm. which is uh, a big deal here around the Bay for mm -hmm. uh, uh, restocking the Chesapeake Bay with oysters. Yep. And uh, we have uh, a local distillery, uh, Black Rock Distillers, uh, serving their craft vodkas, craft uh, rums. And mm -hmm. uh, they were here last year. They make some great stuff. A lot of good food. Uh, a lot of good people coming. So, yeah, you won't, uh, you won't, you won't be hungry at the at Steve's party. He knows how to entertain. That that's for sure. And and what's really nice about the reps that come is they know what they're talking about. I mean, you, he's got he's got people that that know these brands, and and they're, they're not just there to pull things out of the box and show you. They they actually know these products. So, any questions you have, that this is the event to come yeah. to. So. Here's our website, um, and it's littletreasury.com. Mm -hmm. And if you go to uh, events and click on it, mm -hmm. uh, it should go to events. And here on the right uh, is a little uh, thumbnail mm -hmm. uh, advertising the event. You click on it, and you get uh, the details of the time, what's going on. Uh, at the bottom, uh, here's Barbara, uh, who will be here. Mm -hmm. uh, and you can sign up here. We urge you to sign up. If you sign up, you will get a gift bag. Uh, we usually run out, and so the people who sign up and show up uh, get the, the goodies. Is there a place there where they can mention whether or not they're a, a subscriber to the channel? Uh, we'll add a note. Yeah, add a note. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, actually you should have a field there for for notes or comments or whatever. I just said we'll put one in, Craig. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, and folks. That's what you call service. That's what you call service. So you asked for it and you got it. So in addition to our regular brands, mm -hmm. uh we're gonna have uh, some guest brands. Uh Chrono Swiss, uh which is uh undergoing a revival and has some really interesting pieces. I've shown them after uh, Basel World in mm -hmm. the spring, and Reservoir Watches, and Carbidance, which is a very high-end uh, boutique brand, uh, and you'll see some pieces that you probably wouldn't be able to see anywhere but Basel World. Uh, there. Well, there you go. And, now, Joey has a comment, have premium cigars. Uh, you know, uh, they, Well, we have our good friend Titan Cigars. Uh, just a couple of a hundred feet away, we handed out a bunch of cigars last year. There you go, uh, folks. We'll either ha have him bring some in, or we'll send a crew over there to enjoy his uh, ambiance. That's right, and, and they could uh, have an outdoor where you have the oysters and all that. They could they could toke on a cigar out there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, so absolutely. There you we go. have a little tent set up. There you go. So it'll be very cool, Joey. So you got no reason not to come, Joey. We're gonna. Yeah. If Joey comes. From ten buck to wherever he is, are, are you going to treat him to a cigar? Absolutely, treat him to a lot more than that. There you go, Joey. VIP treatment. Just come to Little so Treasury. So those of you who are uh, on now, anybody else coming? Yeah, let and us know in the where? chat. Let us let us know in the chat if you're planning on coming and from how far away. So I, I'm going to back up uh, one page here. Mm -hmm. And just point something else at out. Um, That's okay. You've already hijacked my whole show, so you might as well just keep going. Well, I appreciate it, Craig. <laughs> you created a monster, and you got me. <laughs> so um, on the Sunday before our event, we'll be in D.C. Mm -hmm. at a really nice event called District Time, mm -hmm. and. Uh, there, it's mainly boutique brands. Yep. Uh, since we carry a lot of uh, what you call boutique brands, we're the only retailer invited, mm -hmm. and so we set up a table. And um, the sh show is actually the 12th and 13th, but we're busy here, mm -hmm. and so we'll be going on the 13th. Okay. If you're in D.C. that weekend, highly recommend it. And uh, you can. Uh, so that's the weekend before your event. It is. So people and, should just uh, you'll come see and brands there. Come and spend uh, thirty some brands that you come never and spend see a in come retail. and spend a week. That's yep, the way that absolutely. works. Absolutely. Yeah. Come come and have fun. Okay. Yeah. So 
district time uh, watch show. Yeah. Well, there you go. And it's a beautiful time of the year to check out Annapolis and just tour all around the area. Yeah. So Steve has some hotel rooms. He's got a special block of rooms. If you let him know soon enough, he can get you in yeah. on a deal. And if you want to take that, you know, for a week, that way you can go and, and check out the district time and then check out Annapolis and a bunch of other areas, you know, during the week and relax a little bit, you know, maybe go out on a sailboat. I might come, uh, a buddy of mine has a boat there in Annapolis. I, I might come and do a boat ride. Uh, Brianna, you never told me that, Craig. Jeez. Paul Falpel, you met him. He came uh, in, he was uh, the one with the red sub. Right, I'm happy to go out with you guys. Yeah, I'll he, bring the beer. Yeah. I'll bring the beer. There you go. So so we, we got to, I'm going to take Brianna out for a photo shoot on the boat. And oh. um, and so, um, yeah, well, I might do that during that week. So any VIPs that come into town, let me know, and maybe we can coordinate. I also want to do a photo shoot at the uh, Naval Academy when they do their their formation for lunchtime, that noon formation thing. Do they still do uh -huh. that, Steve? I don't know. I've never been over there. I don't have time. I'm always It working. is it's so cool. It, I went there many years ago. They, they do a formation. I mean, just a ton of them, right? All dressed in their uniforms and all. Right. And they do this whole little thing with the pomp and pageantry and all that, and they all assemble, and then they get dismissed, and then they all run to, to lunch. Um, it's, right. it's really cool. So, um, so, yeah, I'm planning on doing some Annapolis stuff here coming up in the near future. Good. Okay. Well, Craig, I'll, I'll leave you alone. Anything else that you have before you go? That it looks That's gorgeous, That's about by it the at way. the moment. Uh, I do have a lot of other stuff I, I wanted to show, but um, these Four Season watches just showed up. Perfect showed timing. Up. And uh, it's probably a scoop. We're probably and the first, first store to ones, show them. You, you better, can you go in and edit? You know, you can edit even while I'm still live and put this in the description so that uh, for SEO so that people yes, will know sir. that we talked about these watches yes sir um, so yeah this is cool stuff folks uh, live any uh, questions for Steve put them in like right now because he's going to dodge out of here so let's give them about 20 seconds or so because there's a time delay Steve um, you know to make sure if they got any last minute questions put them in right now right. in the chat I'd like to see Jayden more matches. yellow gold. He wants yellow gold on the GS. I'd like to see more yellow gold on GS. Do you mean all gold or steel or steel and gold or titanium and gold? Jaden, let us know specifically what you want, and right. we'll see what we can do. Uh, I think Seiko should have a place there. Grand Seiko, not, does he mean mentioned? A lot of people are still fans of Seiko 5 and Presage. You, you have okay, a lot of Seiko watches, right? Let me address that. Yeah. Let me address that. Mm -hmm. So we are an, uh, Presage dealers, Seiko Presage, Seiko Prospects, uh, Seiko dealers, and uh, as of last week, Seiko Astron dealers. So Astron has uh, returned to the market, and mm -hmm. we're one of the few... Uh, stores that will be carrying them in the country. Very few uh, were selected to uh, carry them. It's very limited line, but much improved over the prior Astrons. I was going to do a show on them, but then these came in and sort of eclipsed them. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll bring them out uh, at another time. Yeah, so we, absolutely. And, and on Friday, we will have the Seiko rep here. And Saturday, the Grand Seiko. Are you talking uh, about this Friday coming up, or are you talking about the show? No, no, I'm talking about our event. Your event, okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, if you want to cover both, you got to show up both days. Okay, so the, the Seiko rep on Friday and the Grand Seiko rep on Saturday. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so titanium and gold is what Jaden yeah. Fox is mentioning. So I haven't seen that yet. That's a nice suggestion. Yeah, that would so, be cool. Yeah, they could, do the, they could do the bezel in those polished center links. Could be right. 18 karat. That would be so. cool. Yeah. And, of course, the indices and the hands, probably if they're going that far. Right. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. And um, Okay. 
Thank you for having me, and I'm sorry I preempted your show, it's, but uh, it's, carry on, it's as you been, would say. Yeah, it's been a real scoop here, and um, yeah. absolutely good content. And, yeah, update that uh, description, because otherwise people will have no idea that this was in this video. So, Got it. All okay, right. Okay, so take over care. Now. Okay. Take care. Yep. Sell, See you. sell away. Carry on. Yep. Bye. Bye. All right, folks, there you go. <laughs> there you go. He's got some heavy pieces in stock at Little Treasury Jewelers. It would be much nicer if the crystal was a different color. If the crystal was a different color on this watch. Hmm, not sure about that. Um, Kyle says thanks, and Carlos says thank you. Um, there you go. And let's do a time check here. There's my uh, 9F stunner. And we're going on an hour. We're uh, 44 minutes or so into this show. And uh, that that's some good content. So the only thing, we've got 24 viewers. I'm going to ask you all again. I'm going to play the jump video one more time. I'm going to ask you all again nicely. Um, if any of you all that have not subscribed to, um, to Brianna's YouTube channel, if you could go to... Um, her website, oh shoot, I just double clicked, I did the wrong thing again. You would think I would learn. I'm going to pull this up and show you this video. I'm going to show you the jump video here. If you could go to her website, which is brefitdance.com, Bree, B R I, fitdance.com. Now that's pointed to her YouTube channel because we're trying to get YouTube subscribers for her. It was pointed to our Facebook page the other day, and we got some Facebook likes, so we've already taken care of that. So now, disregard what I say on this video, because I say that it's pointed to her Facebook. It's actually pointed to her uh, YouTube channel now. So here's the jump video. Take a look. Please help my friend Brianna out by following her. You can go to briefitdance.com, and that's actually pointed right now to her Facebook page. Like her on Facebook. Also, please follow her on Twitter and Instagram at BreeFitDance, at BreeFitDance, and subscribe to her YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. Okay, so there you go, BreeFitDance.com, BreeFitDance.com, and just, just click subscribe. That's all you got to do. We got to get her 100 subscribers so that she can get a custom URL on YouTube, so that she can get YouTube.com slash BreeFitDance. They require you to have 100 uh, subs. And I think she needs that many to um, to turn on monetization and some other uh, privileges. This is a brand new brand that we're, we're we've created for her, Brie Fit Dance. Uh, she's got it on uh, Twitter. She's got it on YouTube. She's got it on Instagram. Uh, so we're just we're just trying to build out this platform, and then we're going to start generating a bunch of content, and we'll see um, see how all this goes. Um, let me know if you have any other questions because I am going to wrap up the show because I am, as usual, getting hungry. It's, it's getting close to dinner time. And uh, all I had for lunch was a pocket full of peanuts. I went for a long walk, and I usually load my pocket up with um, peanuts in the shell and walk and shell them and eat them as I go. Let me, um, and they're from Virginia, by the way, the peanuts. Let me show you a close-up of this stunner here. Let's see how, how this works. Go right here. Get over here a little bit. Yeah, you, the people say, well, you know, it doesn't look good on wrist, you know. It's an ugly watch, all this stuff. I, that doesn't look that ugly to me. It looks pretty freaking nice, if you ask me. And see how those lugs, see how it... it bends right around and, and forms to the wrist very nicely. Even though this one is 14 mils, I think it fits very nice to the wrist. I couldn't be more pleased with this watch. I've had it now uh, more than a year. More than a year. So there you go. All right. So there you go. What else can we do? Monetization is 10K subs. Plus a certain amount of views. Okay, so that's monetization. So we got to get her to to um, 100 subs to get her the URL, 
and then we're going to have to get her to 10,000 subs uh, for monetization. So we'll do that. We'll work on that, and we'll and we'll work on getting her some views. And um, I created some videos that went pretty viral for Audrey. She's got one that's got well over two million views now, two million. And so, and I got some other videos with a million views. So hopefully we'll um, we'll get something out there that'll take off for this young lady and get her some. Uh, Get her some respect out there. Um, so I'm not so sure it's 10,000 subscribers to monetize. I think it might be now 1,000. I don't know. They may have changed that. But anyway, we'll get we'll get her to 10,000 subs. We'll get we'll, we'll get her there. That's that's doable. We got Audrey to 36 30, 36,000. She's got about the same number of subs that I have on Audrey's channel. Um, we got her we took her from 3000 to over 30000 you know in about a year's time so um just by consistently creating some content that's how that works Cre create some decent content consistently and and just get some subs get some subs out there all right folks this has been fun and i appreciate you all watching and again, just go to brifitdance.com, B-R-I-F-I-T, dance.com. I'll go ahead and put it in the chat here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, I don't like that being capitalized, but I'm going to leave it anyway. IT brief a dance. Uh, com. Briefitdance dot com. Bam. Bree B R I F I T dance dot com. I think that's spelled right. Anyway, didn't I don't think it made it a hot link though. But anyway, that's the URL. That's what you gotta go to. To go ahead and subscribe to her channel. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully some of you all can make it to the, uh, to the big party at Steve's place, because that is fun. It is worthwhile to go to that party, absolutely. So, Video Pro, connect here so that I can terminate this broadcast, the Terminator. And Carlos is saying goodbye and thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. And we're going to wrap this puppy up. Let's do a time check real quick as we wrap this up. That's that beautiful 9F movement.